weekly robot news. Hello viewers, welcome back to your one-stop shop for all news robotics. We're back once more with the latest, sometimes shocking happenings of the robotic tech world. From robots for maritime challenges, self-sensing soft robots, drug deliveries using robots, all the way to stretchable thermometers, new senses for robots to handle delicate objects, and companies raising staggering amounts for robotics. So without further ado, let's jump right into our weekly updates. However, before we do, we request you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's get right into it. Highlights of the week. Robotics and AI innovations for maritime challenges. Strategies for driving innovation, whether on the corporate or on the sovereign state level, is wrought with challenges. Abu Dhabi-based Aspire has adopted a creative approach to overcoming many of these challenges by creating grand technical challenge competitions to drive the development of innovative technologies. These challenges are essentially opening up to competition to the development of solutions to key industrial and societal problems and offering prize money to the winners. Currently, Aspire is organizing a challenge called the Mohammed bin Syed International Robotics Challenge, MBZIRC. The MBZIRC had two previous iterations that were organized by Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi. In this latest version, Aspire has taken the reins of a challenge in which AI and robotics will be leveraged to develop an entirely autonomous system for solving maritime problems that arise from piracy, illegal fishing, and smuggling. We picked this challenge because it's a challenge that affects any country that's got a coastline, said Dr. Arthur Morish, the chief executive officer of Aspire. Both robots and AI are really good at doing the dull, the dirty, and the dangerous. And the maritime environment actually lends itself really well to those kinds of applications. Heading towards self-sensing soft robots. The word robot would properly conjure up images of hard, metallic bodies that are invulnerable to attacks. In modern day-to-day -day life, however, robots are hardly needed for defending against enemy attacks. Instead, they're required to perform more mundane tasks such as handling delicate objects and interacting with humans. Unfortunately, conventional robots perform poorly at such seemingly simple tasks. Moreover, they're heavy and often noisy. This is where soft robots have the upper hand. Made of materials called elastometers, materials with high viscosity and elasticity, soft robots absorb shocks better, can adapt better to their environments, and are safer compared to conventional robots. This has allowed for a broad range of applications, including medicine and surgery, manipulation, and wearable technology. However, many of these soft robots rely on fluidic systems, which still use pumps operated by mechanical parts, motors, and bearings. As a result, they're still heavy and noisy. One way around this problem is to use chemical reactions to drive pumps. But while such systems are definitely lightweight and quiet, they don't perform quite as well as conventional pumps. Is there a way to beat this trade-off? Turns out, the answer is yes. A team of researchers from the Shiabura Institute of Technology, SIT Japan, led by Professor Shingo Maeda, introduced an electrohydrodynamic EHD pump that uses electrochemical reactions to drive pumps. The EHD pumps have all the advantages of pumps driven by chemical reactions and none of their issues. Drug delivery with light-controlled organic microswimmers. Science fiction novelists couldn't have come up with a crazier plot. Micro-robots streaming through blood or through other fluids in our body, which are driven by light, can carry drugs to cancer cells and drop off the medication on the spot. What sounds like a far-fetched fantasy is, however, the short summary of a research project published in the journal Science Robotics. The micro-swimmers present in the work bear the potential to one day perform tasks in living organisms or biological environments that are not easily accessible otherwise. Looking even further ahead, the swimmers could perhaps one day help treat cancer or other diseases. In their paper, Light-Driven Carbon Nitride Micro-Swimmers with Propulsion in Biological and Ionic Media and Responsive On-Demand Drug Delivery, a team of scientists from the Max Planck Institute for Intelligent Systems, MPIIS, and its neighboring institute, the Max Planck Institute for Solid State Research, MPI-FKF, demonstrate organic microparticles that can steer through biological fluids and dissolved bloods in an unprecedented way. Even in very salty liquids, the micro-swimmers can be propelled forward at high speed by visible light, either individually or as a swarm. Additionally, they are partially biocompatible and can take up and release cargo on demand. At MPIIS, scientists from the Physical Intelligence Department, led by Metin City, were involved and at MPI-FKF, scientists from the Nanochemistry Department, led by Bettina Loch. Designing and fabricating such highly advanced micro-swimmers seemed impossible up until now. Locomotion by light energy is hindered by the salts found in the water or the body. This requires a sophisticated design that's difficult to scale up. Additionally, controlling the robots from the outside is challenging and often costly. Controlled cargo uptake and on-the-spot delivery is another supreme discipline in the field of nanorobotics. A soft, stretchable thermometer. 
The next generation of soft robotics, smart clothing, and biocompatible medical devices are going to need integrated soft sensors that can stretch and twist with the device or wearer. The challenge, most of the components used in traditional sensing are rigid. Now, researchers at the Harvard John A. Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Sciences, SEAS, have developed a soft, stretchable, self-powered thermometer that can be integrated into stretchable electronics and soft robots. We've developed soft temperature sensors with high sensitivity and quick response time, opening new possibilities to create new human-machine interfaces and soft robots in healthcare, engineering, and entertainment, says Ji Gang Shuo, the Allen E. and Marilyn M. Puckett Professor of Mechanics and Materials at SEAS and senior author of the paper. Southern Ocean Storms Cause Outgassing of Carbon Dioxide Storms over the waters around Antarctica drive an outgassing of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, according to a new international study with researchers from the University of Gothenburg. The research group uses advanced ocean robots for the study, which provides a better understanding of climate change and can lead to better global climate models. The world's southernmost ocean, the Southern Ocean, that surrounds Antarctica, plays an important role in the global climate because its waters contain large amounts of carbon dioxide. A new international study in which researchers from the University of Gothenburg participated has examined the complex process driving air-sea fluxes of gases, such as carbon dioxide. The research group is now delivering new findings that shed light on the area's important role in climate change. We show how the intense storms that often occur in the region increase ocean mixing and bring carbon dioxide-rich waters from deep to the surface. This drives an outgassing of carbon dioxide from the ocean to the atmosphere. There's been a lack of knowledge about these complex processes, so the study is an important key to understanding the Southern Ocean's significance for the climate and for the global carbon budget, says Sebastian Swart, professor of oceanography at the University of Gothenburg and co-author of the study. New tactile sensor helps robots handle delicate objects. Malexis announced Tactaxis, a fully integrated tactile sensor. The company said the sensor can provide robots with a sense of touch. The Tactaxis sensor has multiple 3D magnetometer pixels that use the company's Triaxis technology. It has a magnet embedded in elastometer material. This combination gives the robot a soft feel, like human skin, and high sensitivity to small amounts of force. The sensor can detect weight changes down to a fraction of a gram, according to Malexis. Robots need the sense of touch to manipulate fragile objects. For such applications, we've developed a novel magnetic sensor to accurately measure the contact force, while being robust against disturbances. Gail Close, Global Innovation Manager at Malexis said. By exploiting the capabilities of our Triaxis magnetic sensor technology, we have made a significant step forward in the robot tactile sensors, providing a rugged and competitive multi-axis sensing solution. We will now use the Tactaxis prototype as the foundation for further development work. Kinova raises $48 million for robotic arms. Canadian robotics developer Kinova raised $48 million in funding. The funding will accelerate the development and commercialization of Kinova solutions. It will also use the funds to augment engineering resources to meet the demands of global customers. Founded in 2006, Kinova makes a variety of robotic arms that are used in applications such as medical robotics, assistive robotics, research and education, and more recently, industrial and professional automation. Kinova said new products for the industrial markets will be announced later in 2022. Mass Robotics Novanta Partner to Aid Robotics Startups Novanta announced a new partnership with Mass Robotics to help create and scale the next generation of successful robotics startups. Through the partnership, Novanta Business Units Seller Emotion and ATI Industrial Automation will collaborate with Mass Robotics to develop advanced innovations in medical and surgical robotics and improve robotic productivity. Mass Robotics is an independent, non-profit organization serving as an innovation hub for robotics and connected devices. Its efforts include providing innovative entrepreneurs and startups with the workspace and resources they need to develop and commercialize their products and solutions. Mass Robotics is also the strategic partner of the Robot Reports Robotics Summit and Expo, which runs May 10th to 11th in Boston. Solar Motion is a provider of motion control components and subsystems for OEMs, serving a variety of medical and advanced industrial markets. It will collaborate with Mass Robotics and the other companies, organizations, and research institutions that it works with to create new innovations across a wide spectrum of applications, especially in medical robotics. With that, we end today's dose of our weekly updates. Join in next time for more of such exciting news happenings from the robotic world.